Hello and welcome to another video in the 3 Minute Quarant Teaching Tips series. Today we're going to talk about creating groups in Schoology. I'm going to go ahead and open up my Schoology course. So how, to create, how do you create a group? You're going to click on Members and in Members you're going to hover over here. You're going to click over here on top of the access code and click on Adding Grade Groups. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add Group 1. And I'm going to go ahead and add these students. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to create another group clicking in the same place. And I'm going to call this guy group two. And I'm going to click on the rest of my students. One, two, three, four, five. There is no limit to the amount of groups you create. You can do groups of two, groups of three, groups of four. It's up to you. So I've created both groups. And you're wondering, well, what do I need to do that for? Well, grouping them will allow you to assign different materials to different groups of students. So differentiation or just different assignments uh, on the same uh, unit that you created. So I actually did that. I'm going to go to materials and I'm going to click on Monday where I, where I have two assignments in social studies. They're, for, they're very different. They're on Texas Native Americans, but this one is on creating a map and this one is talking about uh, Native American lifestyles. So I'm going to go ahead and assign the map one to group one and this is how you do it. I'm going to edit the assignment. I'm going to click on the individually assigned button down here and I'm going to try group one. Once I type group there it is group one and I click save changes and it has been assigned as you can see right here. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with the other assignment but this time I'm going to say group two. You could type each individual student's name, but that takes a while. So if you group in, it makes things a lot easier. So now I have group one and group two assigned to different assignments. Group one will only see this assignment and they will not see this other assignment. And group two will only see this assignment and not that assignment. So if you wanted to differentiate without students knowing that you did it, uh, this is a great way to do it. That's been another three minute quarantine teaching tip. Please make sure you subscribe to our channel.